All right, so about two months ago, I went out and bought myself this notebook. Life was just pretty, how would you describe it? It was just kind of just like, Hectic. It was hectic. I could see the exact day I got it. It was September 15th, so over two months ago. And what I basically decided to do is every day I fill out the page and write down things that's going on and things I'm thinking about. It actually helps a lot because of course you have all the things that's going on in your head, but when you get it on paper, it's easier to organize it and compartmentalize things. One of the biggest things I knew I had to figure out is my time management. Like I'm always behind schedule for everything. I felt like I was playing catch up forever. You know, Chicky's taking a poop right now. Would you guys like to see? Yeah, no. So what I thought might help is basically every day I would write down exactly how I spent my time. At what time did I do this? How long did it take? What was I doing specifically? Blah, blah, blah. Basically, I have like over two months of data in here now. And I went back and I just analyzed it all. And I think the big thing I learned from doing this is that I was spending no time focused on health fitness and just running and getting your heart rate up. And there's so many things that are tied to having your heart rate go up. I mean, aside from just like your long-term health, you know, you're less likely to get all kinds of diseases when you're older, but also it just feels good and your physical health is so closely tied with your mental health. And it felt like we were so busy that it was hard to prioritize health. I kind of feel the same too, right? Yeah, I kept saying that I just feel low energy all the time. When I was younger, every time I started feeling stress, I would go for a run or a walk and get the endorphins going. And then it's just like a natural feel good. You're going to sleep better. You're going to have better energy. That and combined with nutrition, then your brain function is better. But it's so weird how it could just be the thing that is like, I'll worry about that later. I'll worry about that later. And then like months or years or decades could go by. And the whole thing about being healthy is it's not necessarily like going to the gym every day and getting swole, right? Like you see a lot of the health benefits by just getting your heart rate up. But I was talking to my buddy RJ. He was in a very early, early potato jet video. He's a stunt man. I was talking to him yesterday. I told him, I'm like, hey, we're really starting to like look back into our fitness. And he's like, good job, man. Cause it's like getting the engine started again is the hard part. Well, yeah, it's always harder to start back up. That's why I think you have to make goals that are attainable and reasonable. Another thing I've really been working on is building routine. So something that you do every day consistently without even thinking about it. And the one second every day, I'm still doing the one second every day. So uh, we'll play that. It's kind of out of order. Okay, I am filming on the uh, Canon R7 right now with a uh, 100 mil lens with a uh, speed booster. It's working pretty good. The autofocus is working. The image stabilization is working. The shot. Well, it doesn't matter. You, you, they would have never known. It's 100 mil. Yeah, the last time I remember it raining here like this, we were in Silverland. So that's the Hollywood sign over there. This is Sunset Boulevard. Have you seen that movie, Sunset Boulevard? It's a good movie. I haven't actually. You haven't seen it? Oh, that's a good one. It's like yeah. a classic. It's one of the classics I actually really like. There's the Paramount lot right over there. Check this out. I'm actually really excited about this. <gasps> Basically a milk crate size. Oh, I love these things. But then you have dividers that you could put in. You could put a bottom. Oh, this one's got a lid. I think the dividers is what kind of makes this thing worth it. This Made is... in the US. Yeah. There's a built-in ruler on the Oh, lid. on the lid. Huh. I got a pack of three of these and it's like a hundred some dollars. Ooh, that is kind of pricey. But, but it feels like good quality. It seems like really good quality. So these can just stack on top of each other. I'm really inspired to be organized, but organization requires a system. Hmm. I'll be honest, this is the kind of stuff that really excites me these days. Like even more than getting like a new camera to test out. It's still cheaper than Pelicans. It's worth it if they're gonna get used and if it keeps you organized because you spend so much time looking for things that if this saves you time, then it's worth it. Yeah, Carrie always says, organize is nice. It's just true, it's very true. So the speed booster is like magic because it turns it into a full frame to some extent. Yeah, in a lot of ways. Hi, Gary. Hi. Uh, I got a GoPro stuck on the roof. I think mm. you're gonna have to use a drone to like grab it or push it. It's right in like the center yeah. of it. So I don't know if it's a good plan, but it's a plan. All right. You see me, Frank? Yeah, I see you. It's looking good. Just talk us through if he needs low, to come low, lower. Low. You almost got it. You almost. It's never going to work. You're not going to be able to push it all the way down. Did it drag on the roof at all? You like touched it, but like pushed it to the side. 
Where did you find that? Yeah, boy, way the hell over there. <laughs> this is what we probably should have done uh, from the get go. Yeah. This feels so freaking high. Yeah, I know it does. <laughs> you need to come back backwards. Like this, like a frog. I was thinking of front flipping off. <laughs> I love how we try to get all creative with this. What happened? It broke off. Yeah, it just completely, yeah. the TPU just completely just ripped off. It looks like it's what? drifting. It, yeah. What? Are you guys seeing it? Yeah, the axle is so shifted. It's kind of like a dog. Like you... dogs don't run straight. Mexican pizza is back. Oh, nope, didn't work. I think I left my glasses at this random spot we stopped to fly yesterday. <laughs> we stopped here yesterday to take this photo of us, but uh, Carrie's convinced that she put down her glasses. Oh, it's right there. It's literally right, we parked That's right in front of it. This is like the second time we left sunglasses somewhere and <laughs> it's been days. Last time it was at the bottom of the ocean. That's dramatic, bottom of the ocean. But technically it was in the ocean and it was at the bottom, even though it was only like two feet deep in a harbor. The difference this time is I knew exactly where they were. I do have some charged up uh, cine lifter batteries. Maybe you can fly that while we're here. But first with the dummy weight. <laughs> dummy weight was a success. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and try to fly this camera, A7 IV. Not bad for only an hour. Thanksgiving dinner in an hour. Remember the days on YouTube where I used to be like, hey, take this poll right here, and it would like pop up? <laughs> YouTube got rid of that. And I'm so sad yeah. about that. But I'm running my polls on Instagram now. We're about to watch a movie now, and we're pretty torn on which movie to watch. And we, it was between The Glass Onion and The Menu. The way it was intended. Big. It appears December 16th. Getting a quick flight in this morning. Got the O3 air unit in here. This thing is nice because I don't have to mount a GoPro up top. If I'm trying to get best footage, I will still mount like a GoPro up top. That way I still have my 24 frames per second. But right now I'm just trying to get some practice in and no camera up top means less weight, meaning it's quieter and disturbing less people. Feel like if you're a computer and your hard drive's always full, but this kind of feels like an external hard drive where I can be like, okay, I'm going to offload this here so I can clear space. And then when I'm ready for this next project, I'll just kind of pull this and download it here. It's external hard drive. That's what this is. You guys gave me really good suggestions on watches. There's a lot of recommendations on here on Casio watches. So I, I was looking into those for a little bit and I was just about to get one, but I think I really started to think about how important the health thing was. So I then started looking back into watches that have like a heart rate thing g-shock timex i used to have some g-shocks and i like those but they, they were just like on the tad bit on the bulky side some of you have suggested a garmin which also i looked into for a bit i literally went through like almost all of these and then uh oh ken if you don't want a smart watch i really like skagen watches they're slick and i get the slim style so it doesn't stick out a lot yeah over 10 years ago i remember looking around for a watch and i ended up getting a skagen and i really really liked it but then i forgot what the name of it was and as soon as i saw ken's message a skagen i was like that was it. So I looked it up and saw that they have a super thin watch, which is analog, but also they call it a hybrid where it's just enough smart features where it shows you your heart rate and steps and the things that I really want to see. But I don't think it's going to distract me with like all these different notifications. Oh, there's a squirrel right there. How funny is that I'm talking about distractions and, and then like a squirrel pops up and I'm like, you see that? That was a squirrel. Oh man, this is the second time in a row that Gene stops reading comments right before he gets to my comment. Well, this time I did get to your comment. The watch is here. The watch is here. That was wow. Do you like how I was looking at $20 watches at first and eventually worked my way up to like $150 watch? I really want the heart rate thing on here and I used to have the Apple watch. But I ended up selling it because it was more of a distraction than helping me keep on track, you know? <laughs> I don't know, I feel like this is a good middle ground. Whenever I have data of my heart rate and like my phone says like, good job, you worked out. I'm extra motivated. You still have your Apple watch though. Mm-hmm. It, do you have to charge it every day? I remember having to charge yeah, it pretty regularly. Yeah, it, tr it doesn't stay charged very long. This is supposed to last longer though. It's a rechargeable watch? Uh, yeah, it's a rechargeable. That doesn't even look like a screen. So it's technically a smartwatch. This must be why it can last a long time because like it's not like an LED display or anything like that. It kind of reminds me of those things that you used to be able to draw at your sketch. <sighs> this is so cool. It's a smartwatch that doesn't really feel like a, a smartwatch. 
a hybrid watch. Oh, except. Oh, look, can you see it changing? Whoa! This is so weird how impressed I am by the fact that it's like not fully smart, just kind of smart. You don't have to worry about charging for weeks. Uh-huh. I do like that. That's cool. Yeah. You know what's interesting? I was like, okay, I gotta go set the time for this. It, it does, it already did it automatically. Oh. The clock, like the, the analog part. It shows me my steps, my heart rate, pushes all that data over to the health app. It's like a weird combination of smart, but not smart. I'm all about it. Thanks for the recommendation. Now I've got this all set up. I need to go do a workout now. So my phone knows I did a workout and it'll give me a little pat on the head. Like, good job, you did a workout. And we're back to the 29th, <laughs> no 28th, sorry. Uh, that's it, thanks for watching. Thank you Notebook for saving my life maybe. Healthy heart, healthy mind. I'm gonna eventually become one of those like wise old Asian men like, you know, the Kill Bill guy just, Hmm, yes, must be one with your mind. But anyways, thanks for watching. Try journaling too, yeah, that, yeah, if you yeah. want to, I don't know. Just don't write down your deepest, darkest secrets in there. Not a whole lot of security. Yeah, I do. he doesn't have a password lock, so. <laughs> All right, that's it. See ya, bye.